Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from DomesticatingMe.com and today I want to talk to you about Eva Mendes' new beauty line, Circa. So if you'd like to know more about the brand and what I think about it and see a few swatches, then let's get started. A few weeks ago I was invited to meet the beautiful, gorgeous, lovely, super sweet Eva Mendes at the launch of her new beauty line, Circa. And I, as you can see, I'm a big fan of hers. Um, I have watched her in films for many years, but meeting her in person and having heard her speak at Lucky Fab a couple of years ago, I just think that she's a wonderful person. And when I knew that she, when I found out that she was launching this beauty line that is going to be in drugstores, I knew that I wanted to know more about it and hear her thoughts and why she created this beauty line. So I actually talk more about that event on my blog, so make sure that you check out the info section below where I'll link to it it at domesticatingme.com. But today, here, I'm just going to show you some of the products and what I think of it. So everything that I'm wearing in this video, everything that I'm wearing right now is actually all from Circa. So let me walk you through what I'm wearing. The first thing that I put on was Circa's Fresh Canvas Face Primer and Fresh Canvas is actually a perfect way to describe this. You put this on, it leaves your skin silky smooth and just a clean canvas for the foundation and the makeup that you put on after. So it's a very good primer. I really like it. Um, it's very um, uh, comparable to some of the brands that you see at Sephora. So if you don't want to pay the Sephora prices, then this is a really good alternative. The next thing that I have on is their foundation and it is really really good foundation not just for drugstore quality but just on its own really good foundation i really loved um the feel of this the texture the um the color everything it's just really good and i'm just going to read the description at the in the back it says even your complexion and hide imperfections with this silky fluid Expertly developed sh uh, shades work on all undertones, while a soft focus effect adds a subtle glow. This creamy formula delivers instant hydration and lends effortlessly for a flawless finish that enhances your skin's natural beauty. I have to agree with that description. Um, you put it on and the finish is so nice. It just feels like silk and at the end, it, it almost feels like you put powder on. It really just blends beautifully and the texture and the finish is really, really nice. I really enjoy this. My color is 04. Um, it's perfect for my skin. Um, so if you're running low on foundation and you're up for trying something new, I really recommend this. It's really good foundation. I really like it. The next thing I have on is Circa's Magic Hour Illuminating Concealer. It's a really good concealer. This is the kind of applicator. It's a little brush applicator, and then you just click at the bottom to let more of the product out. I really like this. I actually think this applicator is perfect for concealer because you can get right under your eye, and then if you want, just squeeze some out onto your finger or put some on your face, and then you can just blend it in with your fingertips. Very good concealer. I really like it. A really, really good concealer. This is another thing I would recommend if you are out of concealer and you're up for trying something new. This is an inexpensive, but really good concealer that you should try. The next thing are my cheeks. I applied Circa's Color Exposure Sheer Lip and Cheek Stain in the color 02 Playa Paraiso. It's this beautiful coral peach color and it's really lovely, really pretty. It's the same little brush applicator as the concealer and so you just squeeze some of the product out and just put a little drops, a few drops on your cheek. And I've been weary of using cheek stains and so I put this on and I felt like, oh my god, I just put gloss on my cheeks. But sure enough, you use your fingertips to um, just uh, uh, blend it out and it's a really pretty color. I really like this. I'm definitely going to be using this tons, a ton. Let's move on to my eyes. I am wearing Circa's Alter Ego Shadow Palette and that is here right there. As you can see, there are shades of brown. It's universal. Any person can wear this no matter what skin color you have. These shades work perfectly with with every skin tone there is. Um, brown is universal, so it's perfect. I would recommend picking this up because the colors are also just very beautiful. I don't, they don't list the name of each product, just the palette itself, but it's got this sort of um, shimmery, light, champagne-y color here, um, and it's kind of in a pearlized 
um, finish. The next one is a medium brown, and that is also in a, a sort of a metallic pearlized shimmery finish. And then a matte brown. This is a deeper brown, completely matte. Perfect, perfect shades just to have. Um, a good palette to try from her collection, really good. And um, I'm going to be doing close-up photos. I'm going to be adding photos of this makeup. This is actually the second time I've worn uh, this. Um, I've used these products. I used it in an outfit of the day uh, photos last week. And I'm going to be posting, inserting those photos right here so you can take a look at them. Really good makeup. I'm telling you, I'm using them over and over again because they are really good and just nice to have and nice to use. Um, the lips, lastly the lips. I am using two of Circa's uh, lip crayons. They are color saturated lip crayon and one is in Magnetic which is a deeper uh, victory red and then this one is Electric which is a brighter uh, has a little hint of pink undertone to this one and I'm using this one on the outer edges of my lips and I'm using this one right at the center just to give it a little more dimensional little pop of brightness. I forgot I'm also wearing Circa's Vivid Vinyl Eyelining Liquid in Smoky Quartz which is this uh, metallic bronzy brown color and that is what my little wing liner is made with. It was this product. So that is what I'm wearing. Let's talk about the rest of the collection and what they have to offer. Something that I'm not wearing are their uh, lipsticks. And I think the outstanding color from what I have here, I have five of the lipsticks, but the one that really caught my eye and I've seen a few people wear it and it looks just beautiful is, uh, is Natalie. Here she is. It's a beautiful, beautiful nude color. And I'm gonna swatch it for you on my hand. There she is, and it, it she it's it's a nude, but it has it definitely has a little pink undertone to it. Really, really pretty. Um, this these are in a matte finish. Um, Color Absolute Velvet Lux lipstick. This is the number one, Natalie. Really beautiful, really beautiful. Um, definitely recommend this lipstick. Uh, the next one I'm gonna go to is uh, another. Uh, well, I'm gonna go to number two. Why not? Number two, Bridget, and it's again another, this is like another nude, but this one definitely has a more of a pink undertone than uh, Natalie. This is, this is a pink lipstick, it really is. It's a l lovely light pink lipstick. And don't forget to check out the description uh, box below because I will link to my website where I have um, close-up photos of all of these products. Let's see, that was two. Let's go with, let's just go in number order. I have, next one I have is four, which is the Ava. Let's try this one. That's really nice. This is a darker pink, uh, kind of like a mauve -y color. Really, really nice. These are great colors for the spring, I have to say. Really beautiful colors. I'm really excited to try these out. Um, this, number six is Elizabeth. And this is a darker, deeper pink. I love this. Kind of like a um, little plummy undertone underneath, but definitely on the brighter side. Again, perfect for the spring. And then the last one is number eight, Lana. This is a beautiful coral color. Beautiful coral. I would definitely wear this with um, the Playa Paraiso uh, lip stain and cheek both lips or lips and cheek whatever combination you want to use these would go really really well together and i'm going to put this one right here look at that beautiful color that is absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to use that that's beautiful perfect for the spring and summer i'm telling you these are really really nice okay Let's move on to more of the lip pencils, the lip crayons. So as I mentioned, I am wearing uh, Magnetic, which is this darker, uh, deeper Victory Red. Beautiful, beautiful color. If you're in, if you love Victory Red, these pinup looks like me, I love pinup looks. This is a perfect pinup red. 
And again, I am wearing electric at the center, and this is a brighter red. With some pink undertones. Very pretty. The next one is, uh, let me pick up a darker one. This is number eight, Defiant. And this is a really, really beautiful purple plummy color. Marsala is the color of the year, as you guys might know, and this would be perfect for a Marsala lip look. Really pretty. And then the last one I have is number four, Captivating. And this is a bright one, really bright pink. Oops. Let me show you what Playa Paraiso looks like on my hand. As I mentioned, you just squeeze some of the product out and you can dot it right onto your face or you can squeeze some of it and put it on a fingertip before applying. And again, this is what I'm wearing on my cheek. And I'm going to put this right here on my wrist. And there it is right there. I'm not going to rub it in, but this is what I have on my cheek. And you just, it applies like if you were putting on a gloss. And then you just start blending it in and rubbing it in. And then it just has a really pretty finish and a beautiful little color. The next um, sheer lip, uh, lip and cheek stain that I have is Varadero number three and I am so excited to try it. Look at it. It's a beautiful like purple color. I'm so excited to see what this looks like. Purple cheeks are in right now. I've seen a few people wear purple um, based eyeshadows. I mean not, not purple based eyeshadows. Purple based uh, blushes and I've been eager to try it. So there, there Right there on my wrist is the, uh, what's it called? The Varadero Lip and Cheek Stain. Okay. The last things I'm going to show you are the eyeshadows. As I mentioned, I'm wearing Alter Ego, so let me show you those shades on my fingers, on the ones that I haven't used. This is the first bright one. Very pretty, really good for the um, inner corners of the eye, and just to add a little bit of shimmer, maybe right under the brow bone, just to highlight that area really really pretty the next one is that medium uh, the bronzy um, shimmery color that's that one right there and then this is the matte matte brown really really good color right there this you can really use to make a smoky sexy evening look really really good and then I have one more eyeshadow palette that I'm also dying to get into and that is number six illustrious and these are shades of gray. Just look at how pretty these are. I'm so excited. So, so pretty. So the first one is like a metallic silver. Boom. Really pretty. The next one is a matte gray and it kind of has a little bit of a green undertone. Yeah, definitely would say it has a green undertone. Really pretty. And then the last one is a darker silver um, metallic shadow. Glittery. That is beautiful. This one has a little bit of a, like a blue undertone, but that is amazing. That is so pretty. Oh, I'm excited to play with these. I'm definitely, I definitely need to make a Fifty Shades of Grey inspired look with these colors. Okay, now that my hands are a total mess, there you go, that, that's, you know, those are my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already and give me a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned.